just got to start the day off right with that healthy, fresh subway things. All right, let's get to the unit. Let's, let's go. Maple Mariana, banging. What's my lens called that? Good morning, good afternoon, good day. Yeah, um, doing car drift E36 things. We are fitting the bucket seat. I don't think I'm gonna show you it. I'm gonna show you it. It's a Driftworks one, and I bought Driftworks side mount. So Driftworks, if you see this video, please sponsor me because I need drift car parts for free, please. All right, let me show you what we're doing. So, first and first, we've got to take the rails and shit straight off the actual car, which we believe are 16s, which are allocated here, 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 and here. The big spanner thing. And then that's the beautiful seat in the back. And yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too hard, it's very basic. It's just because I don't have harnesses to run off my bucket seat yet, I've got to run my normal seat belt, so I've got to get the normal seat belt mount off of, or the buckle mount off of the stock seat and bolt it through to my aftermarket seat like how I had to do it with my Fiesta and the Corboos I don't know how you say it them seat so yeah car things E36 things it's great half you say it's a piece of shit half you love it so this is for the lovers of the 36 let's begin oh that's nice I'm pretty sure that's probably not the safest way of picking it up. As you can see, these are my shit stain marks. But yeah, that came out fairly easy. There's something really cool about these is the fronts are mounted through in bolts, not nuts. So, can you see where do they go? I've lost them. There. Uh, they're actually like the fronts, there's a bolt up through. So, when you mount your aftermarket side mounts, they've already got something like more fixed in place. Because BM think of these things, smart guys. Oh, Miguel Mariana. Okay, so this is what we got from Driftworks. The seat is, you might have just saw it, it's down there, I'll show in a second. But we got, bam, they give you a little leafy thing. Got a free sticker, even though it's like an S15, I'm still going to stick it on my BM because I'm a cool kid. And then there was Harry Bros by it, them as soon as I opened the box. My bad. Yeah. Bad boy side mounts. I think these were about sixty-five pounds. I paid extras. I have like instant next day delivery, and yeah, they seem pretty good. All the wells look really good in them, and yeah, should be. It's easy enough to mount them in. It's just getting the buckle on. But I'll show you the seat quick. Bam, bing, bing, bada boom. It's proper nice, all padded and stuff. So my booty will feel nice and comfortable. Drift works. Um. Yeah, Zenas. It's a lot better than that. Like you're gonna have to buy camps or something, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm thinking to go forward. Don't know, do you think that's alright or do you go forward? It's up to you. You can pop it one or forward and try that. It's gonna be how you feel comfortable. It won't be about anyone else. Yeah, forward because I'm like Yeah. Stretching that. What do you reckon? One forward? Uh how far is one? Just yeah, we'll give one, one for one. What's the height like? All right. Or do you want it higher or lower? Uh, Can you see your bonnet? Can you not see your bonnet? Yeah, go a bit higher. Also, guys, just thought I'd quickly mention. Um, there's a new company out called Choc, and they're just an automotive marketplace where you can go to their website and buy a 
multiple range of different car parts for your car, whether it be performance or whatever. Um, when you go first on there, it will ask you what sort of car you've got and if there's a car that you own that is not on the website, make sure you let them know so they can add more parts for your car so you can buy some good cheap parts. So make sure you check them out, um, subscribe to the newsletter that will come up when you pop onto the website and if you find something you want to post on there, use code B7TMY to save yourself a bit of money. So yeah, that is Truck. I'll leave them one of the top links in the description down below. Make sure you check them guys out. They've got some really good stuff on there, so it's worth a minute of your time. Now, back to the video. BMW problems. Just a, just a good door card, really. And the, uh, the handle casings have all fallen out, but yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah. Ah, fuck it, it'll be fine. Okay, what is going on? I've had to go park up in like an underground Asta car park because it's pissing down rain outside. I want to show you the seat because I've I realised I didn't show you the finished product. So yeah, here we go. We've got the Driftworks bad boy on the Driftwork mounts. And the very smart mounts because the space is alright so you are still centred with the car. But yeah, prop arrows came out, looks nuts. Uh, let's jump in quick. Ooh. How's the lighting on there? Okay, so if you are actually interested in getting one of these seats yourself, I'm not too sure if they still make the same one. This it's a Driftworks one built by Cobra. I think it's Cobra, I think that's the brand. So if I can find the link for these, I'll leave it down below. I'll leave a link to the side mounts in case you've got one of these and you've got an E36 yourself and you try you want to mount a seat. So make sure you check out the company I spoke about earlier and also check out Driftworks, they do really good product. So um definitely recommend them as well so yeah I'm gonna wrap this video up here I'm happy with this next stage of the build the next part I've ordered some lights and stuff for this but I'm looking for a 2.8 lamp at the moment so if any of you watching this have a 2.8 please let me know um, but yeah I've got my eye out for a 2.8 to stick in this because the 1.6 does not do it that first gear in the wet is decent after that it is dead I'm gonna be honest so with that being said, smash a like down below, smash a like, comment down below, smash the subscribe button. I'll see you boys in the next one. And massive shout out to Bobby for sorting out mounting my seat for me. I forgot to say that. So yeah, see you boys in the next one. Peace. Okay, so now I keep saying also, and some reason my camera will not focus and it's going through a window soon, so I'm not gonna play with that at the moment. But we've just got a new batch of B7 one stickers. Hopefully it'll come up there. You can see that. And the oil sticks which look mad in my opinion look at that oh baby they are on the website they're three quid if you've got some spare change help a brother out go grab one that'll be top link in the description so yeah i'll leave it now.